ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ടുഡേസ് അവർ ടോപ്പിക് ഈസ് എക്ടോപ്പിക് പ്രഗ്നൻസി എക്ടോപ്പിക് പ്രഗ്നൻസി ഈസ് എ കോംപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് പ്രഗ്നൻസി ഇൻ വിച്ച് എ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസ്ഡ് എഗ് സെറ്റിൽ ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോസ് ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ദി ഇന്നർ ലൈനിങ് ഓഫ് ദി യൂട്രസ് നോർമലി എ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസ്ഡ് എഗ് ട്രാവൽ ടു ദ യൂട്രസ് ടു അറ്റാച്ച് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ ആൻ എക്ടോപ്പിക് പ്രഗ്നൻസി ദ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസ്ഡ് എഗ് അറ്റാച്ച് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ടു ദ യൂട്രസ് റാദർ ഇറ്റ് മേ അറ്റാച്ച് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ടു സെവറൽ അതർ ലൊക്കേഷൻ ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ദ ക്യാവിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദി യൂട്രസ് Ectopic pregnancies mostly occurs in the fallopian tube and are so called tubal pregnancy. However, they can also occurs in other places including the cervix, ovary or abdominal cavity. An ectopic pregnancy cannot proceed normally and it may eventually lead to the death of the embryo. An ectopic pregnancy is a medical emergency as it can cause life threatening bleeding. If left untreated the fallopian tube may rupture and it may lead to internal bleeding shock and even death Next we'll see the causes of ectopic pregnancy The following condition have been associated with an ectopic pregnancy are inflammation or scarring of the fallopian tube hormonal imbalance and genetic abnormalities the medical condition that caused the fallopian tube to be misshapen some factors that predispose a woman to have an ectopic pregnancy may include previous ectopic pregnancy apart from that sexually transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea previous tubal surgery abdominal surgery pelvic surgery and multiple abortions will be a causes of ectopic pregnancy besides that the use of reproductive technology smoking maternal age of 35 or older and pelvic inflammatory diseases also can cause ectopic pregnancy next i will discuss about the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy these are breast discomfort vaginal bleeding in varying amount sudden lower abdominal pain pelvic pain or discomfort dizziness or fatigue and sometime there will not be any symptoms here we'll see about how we can diagnose the ectopic pregnancies occasionally the doctor can carry out a pelvic exam this may help the doctor in identifying area of pain tenderness or mass in the fallopian tube or ovaries the doctors may carry out a pregnancy test to ascertain that you are pregnant The test is done via blood test to check the level of human chorionic gonadotropin hormone which is usually increased during pregnancy. An abnormal pattern in rise of this hormone can be indicative of ectopic pregnancy. A transvaginal ultrasound is carried out. This allows the doctor to see the exact location of the pregnancy. In rare cases laparoscopy may be needed to confirm diagnosis. Here we reach the last part of our video that is the treatment aspect of ectopic pregnancy. The treatment option depend on your symptoms and when the ectopic pregnancy is discovered. Let's see about the medication used in ectopic pregnancy. Methotrexate medication is often used to treat an early ectopic pregnancy. This medication stops the growing cells of the placenta which dissolves existing cells. This may cause abortion or the developing embryo may pass with a menstrual bleeding. It is very important that ectopic pregnancy is confirmed before this treatment is given. However, conception may be delayed for several months after taking this medication. surgical intervention may be required if bleeding has already occurred laparoscopy or laparotomy surgery is used to gain the access of the pelvis the ectopic pregnancy is either only removed we called it as salpingostomy or the affected fallopian tube is removed along with the pregnancy which is called as salpingectomy so we can go for any these two treatment This is about the ectopic pregnancy. For your better understanding, I am sharing a video which gives a complete picture about the ectopic pregnancy. So here we are winding up our today's section. So next class, we will meet with another episode of Midwifery Topic. Till that, take care. Bye-bye.